He'll go soon. It's only four stars.
spectacular maneuver remember Aguila 6 and 7 flying around our fourth planes remember our plane C101 get your camera ready because the second part of the, our display it's ready it's in the voice of Major Abad La rotura de los tiempos. Ahí la rotura. Ya. Ya. Fantastic pass. In front of the Soul Center. Águila 6 and 7, remember, Águila 6, Major Martin, Águila 7, Capitán Delgado, get your camera ready in 3, 2, 1, go! Fantastic! The opposing pass between Águila 6 and 7, now is the turn of the Diamond. Once again, from left to right, from right to left. From the, to the left, we are fighting with the two planes. And the Aguila one is flying from right to left. If you're coming up ready in three, two, one. The second part, the team separates in three blocks. Remember, it's uh, Captain uh, Martin making a solo slow white little roll. Passing from right to left. Execute the slow white little roll. Where the second part begins for the Swiss Mirror. Fantastic maneuver. It's our Swiss Mirror. Uh, since we coordinate the uh, rocket, we appear to be bad. One aircraft and his lateral is in the voice of Major Martin directing the maneuver. Fantastic wave! A strong applause for our sinker bar! with the gear down fantastic I strong applause for our solo remember Captain Marine and once again our left flying now at the so so center a song applause for our syncope remember Major Martin and Captain Delgado and once again from left to right is the turn of our solo Captain Marvin with solo I never roll from left to right. Solo executes a series of rapid I never rolls while maintaining the altitude and the position. Now we join in one formation in now divided in two formations. On the one hand, three aircrafts, and on the other hand, two aircrafts in order to perform an opposing pass in uh, poker formation. Get your camera ready for this opposing pass. Remember Aguila 1 flying 
Fantastic sees so force a pass and a strong applause for Patrulla Aguilar. Yeah, Get your cameras ready. Aguila four and Aguila five. Of two aircraft, fantastic flyby. Seen is found in the Patrulla Aina has held. From right to left, Patrulla Aina flying in the Royal International Air Tattoo. With the colors of the Spanish flag. Get your camera ready. Major Martin and the rest of Patrick So the C101. Yeah, absolutely. Just uh, looking at <coughs> the latest, they're showing uh, 21014 gusts to uh, 26 at the moment. So uh, still favouring the Westley runway, uh, but virtually all across. Now, Play TV are here once again, broadcasting the flying display at React 2023. You can watch it back later on their streaming service at watch.playtv.com, where when you subscribe, the AB and TAB AB models from the Italian Navy, which haven't visited the aircraft since 2005. Highest number of carriers we've had here at Seven for a very long time. I can think this is quite um, RAF, the Royal Navy Joint Force Carrier service day came to an end.
Ago, we've already had a change to the programme. In case you missed it, we're not going to be able to see the Saab Griffin E in the programme at this point because wind conditions are out of limits for that test aircraft. But we have brought the Niels Schilstrom with the Saab SK 60.
but all three axis of control can be used at varying times, uh, ranging from uh, on the knife edge, top rudder, to maintain the thrust line so that the aircraft doesn't descend in the inverted position, forward stick, uh, again to prevent uh, the aircraft from descending in the length of all three, and you transition from one of the 90 degree points to the next. Saab 105 was developed for the Swedish Air Force to replace the Victory Hamlet slightly inboard from the wingtips. You can see the interference uh, as the air around the fuselage moves the, um, uh, the smoke out and then the mixing of the high pressure below the wing and low pressure above the wing, the uh, wingtip vortices about 40-50 uh, yards behind the aircraft. with the Saab SK-60 of the Swedish Air Force.
very little change from uh, what we saw earlier. Uh, with the moment, uh, suddenly at uh, 19, not gusts to 29, visibility is outstanding and few cloud at 2,000 feet. So the vast majority of what we'll see from 11G is just going to be plus 9. But nevertheless, you will not know the difference. This from the French Air and Space Force is the Dasso Rafale C.
position for the slow pass. The effort should take him down to about 100 knots. This is the single-seat Rafale C model. The Armée de l'Air et de l'Espace operates a mixture of both these and the two-seat Rafale Cs, of which we've also got one here. And they found that the second seat in the two-seater, which was in, originally intended just as a conversion trainer, is very useful for the air-to-ground mission in particular, with a weapon systems operator in the back, in much the same way as, say, the USAF uses the F-15 Strike Eagle. Aircraft being flown deliberately into wind there. We've got about 30 knots on the nose at that point. So he's doing about 70 knots over the ground, which is incredibly slow. He's actually about motorway deep. towards us and then another break back onto the main display axis along the main runway
signed the new 12 year agreement in 2014, that is air to ground and reconnaissance technologies, which they haven't had before, as well as new weaponry and an upgraded radar.
team back down to their display height is Red Ward. That's Scudley the Tom Bowl. Tom is in his third and final year on the team. He was previously on the team in 2015-17, where he was a synchro leader. He's also flown tycoon on operation. He's also a qualified flying instructor on the Hawk Team Mark 2, as well as the Takano, where he was the Takano display pilot in 2010. As the team keep on coming round to the left, the slope will come on for the eight arrow present. <laughs> Again, the team reaching over five and a half to six thousand feet. The aircraft now slowing to approximately 100 to 120 miles per hour, which makes the controls a lot less responsive, making the formation keeping even more difficult. Conversely, now the aircraft are now accelerating through 100, 200, 300, back up to that 400 miles per hour, where the controls are now a lot more responsive and twitchy. Again, making formation keeping even more difficult. As we come round to left for the first of our space theme shapes. This is Apollo! On the left of Red 1 is Red 3, Flight Lieutenant Tom Hansford. Tom is in his first year on the team, the aircraft closest to you. As I said, the second of our space steam shape, the smoke will come on for the Eagle Presents. So the blue and the red smoke comes on, he bends the formation around the right, making it even more difficult for both reds. Seven and eight, see that rhythm and rate going around the rest of the smoke. On the front section, you may have seen that the aircraft are flying with their air brakes out. That's the small door at the back of the aircraft. Front for the start of the second show. Get your cameras ready for the detonator! Oh, 
with Enid to the floor, the Goose. The red and blue command as red one brings the formation around to the left. You may be able to see a small tank on the belly of the aircraft, that's the smoke pod. Once again, get your cameras ready. You do not want to miss this one. Of course, it's the crowd favourite as the synchro pair split to perform the synchro part. Keep an eye coming in from the left hand side is Red 7 8 as he pierces the heart with his spear. And of course, the Red Arrows like to dedicate today's heart to our wives, partners, girlfriends who are here today with us. And of course, give us our support throughout our entire time on the Red Arrows. 7 and 8 roll goes the corner. Red 7 and 8, the blue smoke comes on as they roll around the smoke of Red 6. And once again, get your cameras ready for the vortex break. Once again, red six off to the left hand side, red seven off to the right, red eight one on the top. The single pair will once again pull up to their perch, possibly one thousand feet as they turn hot and hard back towards the display line for their final manoeuvre of the show. Once again, they'll be at 100 feet. The boat speed are over 800 miles an hour, they will the series of fire rolls and the inverted flight to the display line in a manoeuvre called the crossbow. symbol in the sky for the infinity break. We'll react, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's been an honour and a pleasure, I'm glad you got in, but please put your hands together for the 2023 Royal Air Force Aerobatic Team, it's the Red Arrow!
300 feet that uh, the sharp-eyed amongst you, you can see the turbulence on the baskets uh, of that uh, C-130J and uh, how difficult that would be under these conditions. The US Marine Corps that took its war for the first time in MV-22B form, starting off in Iraq in September 2007. Here comes the Osprey in conventional aircraft mode with the rotors tilted forwards and effectively here acting as propellers. Find the turns and allow them to stay lower over the terrain. But the aircraft performance also gives the core of an option and a helicopter to fly above ground threats. And here's that transition taking place. We have the uh, engine 60 degree the aircraft slowing down. Mix of, uh, mix of wing and uh, rotor flight, but now the transition to pure vertical.
Риска.
much longer though because the F-35 is coming as it is with uh, so many other Air Force. The uh, first two F-35s out of 34 orders from Belgium and usual rise at Luke Air Force Base, Arizona for training. Late this year is looking down all of them in service by 2028. But that one again, conditions deteriorate somewhat over the airfield. A marvellous demonstration of the F-16 AM fighting Falcon by Commodore Padietta Steve De Vries of the Belgian Air Component in his Dream Viper. A demonstration of uh, aerodynamic braking there, holding the nose well about six or seven feet off of the ground, nose 20 degrees up in the air, compressing a huge amount of air between the bottom of the fuselage and the wings and the runway and retarding the speed. if the NH-90 is engaged by small arms fire. All systems and subsystems are redundant, segregated, whilst armor plating is provided for both the crew and the crew. Yeah. 
beautifully a crowd centre for the customary end to most rotary shows, which is the bow to the crowd at the top. And I'm sure as it goes past, you'll see the crewman in the door waving at you. Do show your appreciation to the crew of the Germany. So coming in to crowd centre to give that customary rotary wing bow shortly. Thank <laughs> you. 
away. Getting into a switch three and a half thousand pounds. Front and rolling now. The EAV 8B Matador 2 of the Spanish Navy. The aircraft would appear incredibly low at the gate. We're so going from 300 to about 500 feet in this maximum range.
conducted at uh, 300 knots indicated airspeed. Um, it's very obvious to see that the A400 was at the top end of its speed range and the tornado with their wings swept all the way forward at 25 degrees uh, were at the bottom end. Operational theatre in July 2018, they lifted troops from the storm to Mazai Sherry in Afghanistan. In the last second pass. Yep, that's maximum thrust reverse. 
But what a good example there. That took 4,000 feet for the speed to be under control, whereas the Gryphon that we'll see later with uh, its big half fiber brake can stop it about 3,000 feet. Yeah, that was the tanker tornado we saw touching down there with the uh, common pod underneath the fuselage uh, and Hauptmann Dennis Hoss heading up the crew. in the sky, it's to Rolls Royce that we must look uh, to make this our rainfall flight display sponsor. Uh, without such uh, incredible sports sponsors, really we wouldn't be able to know such an incredible uh, aviation spectacle at the same time. Now, uh, we've still got a good uh, couple of hours to go with, but you may well be thinking uh, about uh, your department plan. In which case, um, if you would just, of course, uh, make sure that you have all your belongings down there.
Johari, Johari uh, is in his uh, fifth uh, year with the team and comes from the uh, city of Medeza in the south uh, of the country. to go into position doing a uh, hover taxi along the runway in rather spirited fashion of the RAF. Chinook. low level 
an environment that all jet crews are comfortable in and is running in towards us at 120 knots. They're just adjusting their line around some of the ponds that are out there as they run in towards crowd centre. Have your cameras ready. And here we go. So Shinnok pulls up to the vertical to begin the 2023 display. The aircraft conducts a pedal turn before diving back down towards the surface. They're now setting up for their next manoeuvre, the offset wing over. This year's display is captained by Flight Lieutenant Jim Hobkirk. Jim is the Royal Air Force's old father time, having joined the RAF in 1989 before the rest of the display the roller coaster. Jim will pitch the aircraft up to 50 degrees from the horizontal before pushing forward on the cyclic and pitching the aircraft nose over. back down towards their hard deck of 100 feet for today's display. They'll then push the aircraft to the limit for the second time. And if you listen closely, you'll hear the Chinook's two engines offering up a massive chunk of their 10,000 sharp horsepower to achieve the performance climb. Controlling the aircraft in this procedure is no mean feat. Jim is pushing all 15 tons of Chinook to its operational limit. Absolutely delightful. They can point the nose over and begin an air traffic controller at St. Athens with an RAF North Hall, while he waited for the opportunity to train as a Chinook weapon system operator. Since so joining the Chinook force, he has deployed multiple times in operations in Mali, the Middle East, and also the Caribbean in support of British efforts to provide disaster relief to the many islands hit by Hurricane Irma in 2017. This Chinook is inextricably linked with the modern battlefield. During conflicts, as long as the wind plays balls and doesn't blow all that beautiful noise away. Before reversing back up the runway. The Chinook is the only helicopter in the world capable of this impressive feat. And it's an attribute that's helped many a pilot get out of a tight parking spot. To finish our display, the crew will conduct an over-the-shoulder departure. Please give them a big wave and make some noise so that they can hear you over the thunderous sound of the Chinook's roar. With a flash of the landing light and a bow of the aircraft, the Chinook will depart to complete the 2023 display. It has been an honour to display the Chinook for you today and to bring the blade slap to Ria. Please come and find us in the RF experience down in the red zone by the C-17, where we're ready to answer all of your Chinook-related questions. A big thanks must go to Breitling without... I'll get you, I'll get you back, Hussein. This forward starts then. And here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Fishing is the late for that one.